So I've been talking a lot lately about victims' rights, and it's given me a different opportunity to kind of look back over the course of my experience in the criminal justice system and see areas of great strength and see area of weaknesses. And uh, today I was able to apply my story to a reason why there needs to be some changes made. And it was really cool because the minute I got up there, I thought of so many of you who have told me your stories. And so many of you who have lived a silent story. So today I went a little outside of my comfort zone and, and didn't just tell my story, but tried to give a voice to all of you who have opened up to me. So thank you, each of you. I felt, I felt like the strength from way more than just my own, um, helping me convey to these senators why this law needs to be passed. And the votes were unanimous, so things are looking good in that direction. Um, but I come to you today to, to talk about an idea of our comfort zones. Because so many times, what happens, especially after trauma, we get really stuck in our comfort zones. And if you read the book that I mentioned, Fearless Living, she talks a lot about this. But where we're comfortable is where we're stuck in our comfort zone. And sometimes some women might be comfortable being abused every day because that's what she knows. That's where she's comfortable. And when she steps outside of it to make a difference, to make a change, it's scary because it's not what she knows. So um, in that book, it talks about your comfort zone, your stretch zone, your risk zone, and basically your die zone. And I know um, my stepsister, Rachel, talked. she's taught me a lot about this stuff. She said her die zone is like getting up on a stage singing karaoke. That is something like she would rather die than do. But in your comfort zone, if you really evaluate what you're doing in your comfort zone, a lot of times you'll find out there's stuff that other people would think are really hard. But where we grow is when we step out to that next zone, when we step out to that risk zone and take a risk. And that's where we change. If I'm stuck in this comfort zone that tells me I have to keep myself safe and I can't, I can't open up. And um, for me, in my story, that would have been stifling because the minute I was asked to step outside my comfort zone and take a risk, do crazy videos like this that I never in a million years would have committed to, um, that's helped me grow. And it's helped me develop into somebody that I'm a lot more proud of than the girl that was stuck in her comfort zone, hiding in her house, staring out her window, all of those things that I used to do. Um, so today, I want you to get down. And then the next zone is the risk, like big risk. Stepping out of your comfort zone, sometimes it's a little scary, but the next one, taking a risk is like, jumping into something that you re really are scared to, but when you see the greater picture, you see that for the whole, it's gonna make a difference. Um, so today, I don't care if you wanna step out of your comfort zone, maybe go into public for the first time in a long time. Maybe stepping out of your comfort zone is actually putting on makeup and getting dressed because for a long time in your comfort zone, you felt safer not doing those things because you wouldn't attract the opposite sex and maybe your experience with the opposite sex hasn't been good. I don't know where your comfort zone is today, but today I'm asking you to step outside of it, to be a little bit risky and see where it takes you. And through all of these, anytime you're gonna step out of your comfort zone, for me, I use a lot of prayer and, and really wanna know if that's where I'm supposed to be or if it's just something I'm afraid of doing or if it really isn't a place I need to be. So when you're evaluating, evaluating your own comfort zone, where you felt safe, where you felt comfortable, see the areas that you know are just holding you back. Um, I know with our children, we ask them to step out of their comfort zone. My kids, I've been really trying because after Emma died, I felt like I was like, I did everything for them. I didn't want them to feel scared and they became kind of more internal and they didn't want to go ask for the ice cream at McDonald's. So little things that I see them start to clam up, I asked them to step outside their comfort zone. I handed one of them the, a credit card the other day and I said, I want you to walk up and ask for it. That's what you want, I want you to do it. And watching their confidence grow as they've stepped outside of their comfort zone just by little steps. So anyways, if you're stuck somewhere, I want you to write down what your comfort zone is. What would, be, what would it take 
to step outside of it and maybe take some chances? What would it take to get risky and really, maybe you need a new job. Maybe your job is holding you back. I don't know. I want, I'm, I want to give you a million ideas, but only mine are coming to my head. Um, so just evaluate, go through your life, see where you have been held back by thinking that you're, you're in a safe zone and see what the next step could be for you. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm excited to go get out of my dress and get back in my sweats because that's my comfort zone today and I want to be comfortable in this rainy day. Have a good one.